What does a contender even look like anymore? I don't know, but we're here to try to break down our power rankings heading into week seven of the NFL season. So we're going to kick things off right away here with number 10. At number 10, we have the Baltimore Ravens. They are a 4-2 and two team, and they were up from not being ranked last week. Yes, it was a very sloppy win, but just given the way that this last week played out and how like off it was, it really felt like this was the Ravens' chance to slide back into the rankings and be decent. I mean, they are a solid team at times. They need to play a complete game. That's a big problem that we have with them. They are not playing a full 60 minutes. They are playing like maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, especially in that Titans game. They only played maybe about 30, 40 minutes of that game. That's all they did. So unless they can play a full 60 minutes, they're not going to be really high on this list. But they did find a way to get back into this list after being out of it. At number nine, you got to respect them for what they just did. The Cleveland Browns. Up from not being ranked last week, they are a 3-2 and two team, and man, the Browns. Who would have thought the Browns with P.J. Walker as your quarterback would have managed to beat the 49ers? That is insane. Their defense is top-notch. Their defense is great. The, off the offense is going to be the thing that will determine how far this team goes. Because defensively, they are one of the best in this league. And it's not even close. At number eight, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars were up two spots from last week after another big win. They are 4-2 and two on the season. And man, it, I don't know what it is, but it really feels like these last couple weeks, the Jaguars have really gotten their act together. They have gotten their stuff together. They have played a lot more com competitive football. They've played a lot more competently. And they are looking solid. They have a big game on Thursday night now against the Saints, which really could be a determining game. Is, is this team a legitimate contender? Are they just a team that got hot? This is going to be the game to determine. If they can keep their streak going and get another huge win, then they could very well keep things rolling. But they are playing the Saints, who have been a roller coaster of a team where they'll play bad one week and great another week. But the Jaguars really are looking like a solid team. At number seven, we have the only team to not move on this ranking, the Dallas Cowboys, because yes, they won, and it was against the Chargers, who have a semi-high-powered offense, but they just, the offense started looking better, but now the defense is starting to fall off. So now the defense is coming down, but the offense is starting to roar back a little bit, which is good that we are finally seeing the offense go, but the question is, was the defense ever really that good? I mean, we're, pre we're being proven that the Cardinals aren't a great team. I mean, they're keeping close, but then they just completely collapse in the second half of games. And the Cowboys let the Cardinals just run all over them. And that offense was not really great. So the question is, was that defense really just a mirage? Or was it really that good and they've been having a bit of a couple bad weeks? We're not sure, but right now we're pretty, pretty low on the Cowboys over here. At number six, we have the 5-1 and one Kansas City Chiefs down four spots because, well, you almost lost to the Broncos. And a big reason why you've been winning a couple of these games is because of Taylor Swift. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong in the comments down below. But the Kansas City Chiefs are purely winning right now because of Taylor Swift. The Jets game they could have easily lost. They could have lost they should have lost to the Vikings last week. They very well could have lost on Thursday to the Broncos. Prove me wrong that they are not winning because of Taylor Swift. Tell me there's some other reason that they're winning because we know it's Taylor Swift and everything in that. We're, we're fed up with this, and the Chiefs are going to follow four spots despite a win. At number five, we have the 49ers. We could have dropped them down even further because you lost to the freaking Browns. But, man, you know, you're still a complete team. You're high on McCaffrey getting back. I think I heard something that Debo looks like he'll be back soon as well. So you're getting your pieces back offensively. You had a bad game. And, really, you are just such a complete team that, yeah, this loss stings. But you still are a great team going forward, and you still have very high ambitions for winning the NFC at this point, because the NFC, it looks like it's the Niners' race to lose at this point. No other team in the NFC except maybe the Lions look like they are confident enough to give the Niners a run for their money. You would say, you might say the Eagles, and tell me in the comments, it might be the Eagles, but I just am not sold on them. The offense has looked lethargic this year, the defense has been pretty meh. And they have been winning games, but they have not really been big wins, unlike the Knights. Speaking of Philadelphia, they're here at number four, down one spot from last week after a loss to the Jets. And, you know, honestly, we probably could have flipped these two around, but the Brown losing to the Browns is a lot worse than losing to the Jets because the Jets' defense is going to make any offense look bad. They would make a Tom Brady super team back in the early 2000s look at atrocious. It would, it would be horrible. I mean, the Jets' defense is just that good that the offense just needs to be semi-competent. 
which Zach Wilson is turning into a semi-competent quarterback, into a fairly competent quarterback, if you ask me. He is looking a lot more focused. He looks a lot more in the game. And he is not sitting there messing around on the sidelines with his buddies. He's focused on the game. He's taking accountability for his actions. And he is growing as a player in a massive way. And man, so losing to the Jets is not a huge, huge knock on the Eagles. They just need to get themselves back into it offensively. At number three, we have the four and two Buffalo Bills up three spots. And yeah, you might be wondering why. Because normally a 14 to nine win against the Giants would cause you to plummet a few spots. But you had to ding the Eagles for losing to the Jets. You had to ding the Bra or the uh, Niners for losing to the Browns. So that kind of just thrust the Bills up with a win. I mean, honestly, if it was a regular week, they probably would have fallen because personally, I still think the Niners are a way better team. I still think the Niners personally are one of the best teams in the league. But you have to you have to punish them for losing. So the Niners had to fall. So the Bills, I mean, they have potency. But the offense decided that they didn't want to get going until the fourth quarter, which is a key problem. And the Bills have been one of those teams that have been kind of on the fringe this year. They have not been looking like the dominant Bills of the past. They're still finding ways to win games, don't get me wrong. But I thought this team had the potential to easily be a 13-3 and team. And they're already two losses in a third of the way through the season. They're tracking to a six-loss season. Not quite what you're looking for if you're the Buffalo Bills. So we'll hope we'll hope for the best there. Buffalo, you still have a chance. You still should make the playoffs in the AFC. But you're just you're looking a bit off right now. We want to see you get back into the swing. At number two, we have the Detroit Lions. Five and one, up three spots from last week because man, you came into Tampa on their creamsicle day and said, Nope, you ain't eating your creamsicles. We're taking the creamsicle pop right from your hand and we are devouring it because the Lions just came out there. No BS, we're going to dominate, we're going to win right from the get-go. Especially, I mean, the defensive front seven. Taking a look here, Aiden Hutchinson, easily, easily the steal of his draft class. Other players drafted ahead of him have not done nearly as much as Hutchinson. Hutchinson really looking like a stud. He is looking almost like another coming of Aaron Donald. Not quite as dominant, but still a threat that you do not want to face on the offensive line. Aiden Hutchinson, he's just there, he's always involved. In that Lions offense, they're doing well. Jared Goff is starting to click. He's been having a year basically like 2018 when he was with the Rams, where he led the team to the Super Bowl, where they ultimately crapped the bet against the Patriots. But anyway, I mean, Jared Goff is getting back to form. And Amon Ross St. Brown and Sam Laporta, them two, oh my gosh, them two, if you got them on fantasy, you are sitting nice and pretty, especially on the same team, because man, they have been getting involved week in and week out. And the bill on the Lions, I am just loving to watch. Well, number one, place your bets in the comments down below who you think it is, but it's fairly easy. It's the Miami Dolphins, right now one of the hottest teams in the league. Yes, they almost started they almost struggled at the beginning, going down 14 to nothing against Carolina, but they are 5-1. They managed to turn a 14-0 deficit into a 42-21 victory. Not many teams in the league would be able to do that, even against Carolina. I mean, it is just insane. How this team has been rolling offensively. Like, there has not been a team that has been able to stop the Mike McDaniels offense. This guy is an offensive guru, and his defense just needs to be fairly decently competent, and they'll win games. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Oh my gosh, the Dolphins, y'all are looking great. Well, to go ahead and recap real quick, at number 10, we have the Ravens. 9, we have the Browns. 8, we have the Jaguars. 7, we have the Cowboys. 6 is the Chiefs. 5 is the Niners. 4 is the Eagles. Three is the Bills, two is the Lions, and one is the Dolphins. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this list, who should be on it that wasn't, who shouldn't be on this that was. Let me know your power rankings as well down in the comments below as I will respond to everyone in to leave a comment. And also make sure if you haven't already, check out our recap video from week six to find out all the insanity that happened. And I guess with that, I will see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.